I'm going to show you how you can clean your video card and replace the thermal paste. After you take the video card out of your computer, turn it over, you'll see four little screws right here. That's what holds the heatsink to the GPU. You have to remove those four screws. Be careful they're spring loaded, you don't want to lose them. Try not to slide it around too much and do not press very hard with the screwdriver on here. And you get the four screws out. Carefully turn it over. Actually, the heat sink came off. Usually, the heat sink will stick because of the thermal paste. And uh, also, unplug the fan here. Gently wiggle it out. There's the GPU chip right here. There's the core. Well, actually, it's many cores. Now if you want, you can take some water, you can run some water through here to clean out these fins. It won't hurt it because it's just a fan, and then you just let this dry out before you reinstall it. You have to wipe off the old thermal paste. Look at that. Look how pretty that looks. It's almost like a mirror. Wipe off as much as you can. You can use some rubbing alcohol too to get the, the excess off. This is just aluminum. It won't hurt it. I got most of it off so I don't need to use any alcohol. But there you go. That's all cleaned up. I ran some water through the fan assembly here to clean out the heat sink in there. And then I used the hair dryer to gently dry it out. But be careful because this did get pretty hot using the hair dryer only for like a minute. The next thing you're going to do is get the thermal paste and start to squirt it onto the chip. That should be enough. You don't need that much. You only need to put the thermal paste on the chip. You don't have to put it on the heat sink. Because when you join them together, there will be enough there to help transfer the heat. The thermal paste comes with a little spatula. I don't know where mine is that you can use to spread it out. I just use my finger, it's not a big deal. Make sure you completely cover the chip with it. Try not to get it on the rest of the chip, just only put the paste on the core itself. Make sure that you put the fan and heat sink back on the correct way. After you get the heat sink on there, you have to hold it carefully and then turn over the board. And I'm not sure if this is showing up on camera, but when you move, oh, I can see it there. Right in here, when you move, you can see when the hole lines up so you can put the screw in. Get the first screw. Press down on the spring.
You don't have to snug it yet, just get it in there so it will hold it in place. Then do the next one. Put the final screw in. That one's snug. I would do it in a crisscross pattern. Oh, they're all pretty tight now. Okay. Everything's been reinstalled. Turn it over. Reattach the wire for the fan. Plug it back in. Just wiggle it in, don't push it too hard. You don't want to damage the board. And that's it. Now you can reinstall it in your computer. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell.